Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the top 16 of the Las Vegas Open 2023. Today, I'm joined by my good friend. Hey, guys. James Schroeder here. Excited for the top cut here at LVO. Uh, here to see the top players from day one and day two. That's right. This round we have a treat for you. We have Jefferson Jimenez versus Liam Lee, the Galactic Empire, in a different flavor than what we saw quite a few times yesterday and on uh, day one of Swiss versus a Galactic Republic list that, again, a little bit of a different flavor. I would not have guessed to see a clone Z95 in the top cut, but here it is. Um, Liam went five, uh, four and one during his Swiss and uh, is here to try to make his way into the cut. Now, before we go too far, I want to say thank you to Frontline Games for their support of our streaming by providing the internet. But most importantly, I want to thank our supporters, our Patreons, everyone who has ever given a Twitch sub or has donated because of you, we are able to do the travel and pay for the hotel. So thank you guys so much for that support. Now, James, everybody at home, it is time for you to choose your champion. James, go ahead and break down these lists. All right. I'll start on the right side because I'm a Republic uh, fanboy if there ever was one. <laughs> <Woo>! uh, <laughs> and... Uh, uh, with Liam Lee on the right side, your bet to all champion here, uh, flying that Republic list. Um, and I did, uh, I thought it was funny that you you chose to go with, uh, <laughs> that Liam chose to go with Knack. Out of all the Z95s, that's got to be the most interesting choice that he could have made there with that <laughs> Z95. Uh, this is the Initiative 5 that, uh, the only Initiative 5 in the, in the clone Z95s. Uh, has almost a useless ability, um, especially in kind of today's meta, of uh, being able to pass off his uh, talents. But you, do you know why he's he's here, right? Which is Initiative Five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah. Be more, uh, yeah. because it's Initiative Five. Initiative Five. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but he passes off a talent upgrade to an, a non-unique pilot, mm -hmm. which we have all unique pilots here today. Right. Uh, all right, but that knack has fire control system, synchronized console, and magpulse warhead, so was able to fire that uh, magpulse warhead, re even reroll one of those dice, and then immediately pass it off to one of his friends, so they can get a lot. Uh, also have kickback here. This is the Siege of Coruscant kickback with diamond boron missiles, munitions, munitions failsafe, and a free included hull upgrade. Free? Free? What? Is best. Free is good. And uh, Dion will forget the hull upgrade. I will. I will. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> I will not. How dare you? <laughs> uh, Contrail uh, here in the uh, V Wing. <laughs> Puts the Make Miranda great again up there. How dare you? That's some 1.0 stuff right there. Uh, we have Contrail, uh, also from the Siege of Cor Coruscant back, has Ion Limiter Override, Precise Astromech, Ion Bombs, and the best title, the best config. Uh, we also uh, have Oddball in the Y-Wing with dedicated Proton Torpedoes and R4P mm -hmm. Astromech. And to round out the list, and we just saw him move here, Anakin Skywalker in his... Uh, Delta 7B. And mm -hmm. You can see if if you're able Let's to pick, it out. if you if you're able to pick it out, it is the super cool like Anakin specialized modded uh, version here. It's of, like a hot rod version, right? It yeah. <laughs> I, I saw a funny thing the other day where it's like I don't know why all these prequel Jedi all had like basic lightsabers. Like it's just like a hilt. Mm -hmm. uh, it's be and like we're now we're seeing like all the cross guards and like a like a swinging lightsaber. Yeah, and it's because the, the the Jedi Council did not want Anakin to get any fancy ideas. Like, they're like, look what he did with his ship. <laughs> <laughs> look what he did. <laughs> he was beautiful. <laughs> we can't let him know that there's modifiable lightsabers out there. <laughs> Everybody, basic hilts. Basic hilts. Yeah. We're, we're back to basic hilts. Uh, Anakin here also has patience. Elusive. The chopper upgrade. And we do see that stress, focus, charge go down. Um to start using those charges so we can start jamming people. Uh, but also a spare parts canister if uh, it's like, I'm done jamming, I'm just gonna recover that charge and uh, start uh, getting those elusive, or get those uh, evades back. Uh, very interesting list, and then uh, I would say an uncommon 
uh, archetype here. Mm -hmm. Or at Agreed. least a lot, a lot of uncommon ships. Yes. Agreed. Uh, also have Jefferson Jimenez on the left with your bet one all champion. Has Morna Key leading this pack of Imperial fighters. Uh, Morna has Death Troopers, Fifth Brother, Proton Bombs, and the Dauntless title. Uh, interesting choice there to go for Death Troopers and Fifth Brother instead of the normal, normally what we see uh, on these Decimators is the Darth Vader upgrade. But Darth Vader is a hard fought, <laughs> uh, unique pipped uh, card in the Empire. You have so many options. You got Crew, you have Defender, you have Boy Vader, and you have uh, Customizable Vader to choose from. Uh, and uh, just one, <laughs> you got to choose one. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, uh, Jefferson went with Darth Vader from the Battle of Yavin. Has marksmanship, hate, afterburners, and a free included shield upgrade. Uh, sometimes you got to choose between afterburners and shield upgrade. This one gets uh, both. Por que no los dos? Also gets a great ability uh, in that uh, has the dar uh, defender ability, uh, but is able to spend a force on defense. So uh, you can spend a force for a change at K blank to hit. Uh, Aiden Versio uh, leading this uh, pack of generic or non-limited TIE Fighters. Uh, Aiden has the ability to prevent uh, all damage being dealt to one target for one attack. So uh, it'd be real unfortunate if Oddball rolled up and rolled a perfect Proton Torpedo and you just blank out and you say, I really didn't like that. Let me spin a charge and just ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Right. Now, is that, is that against any sh any ship? It's only James? with Ty L in fighters. All right. Or either herself or other Ty L in fighters at range zero. I know some for. some newer players get confused thinking like Ty fighters. Well, Ty advanced is a type of Ty it, fighter. It is. Ty L in only. Actually, now that you mention it, uh, we do have Iden Versio in the Ty interceptor mm -hmm. that just came out in the Battle of the Oven Peck. That one actually does say Ty. Mm, that's yeah, the Any different ability. version of Ty, uh, a little bit different, but same basic concept. It could prevent one damage every other round. Right. Uh, but that's on any Ty. So uh, you know how important those one damages can be to they like a up. Ty V1 or Ty X1. Mm -hmm. um, even like a Ty Punisher. <laughs> you could mm -hmm. get anything that says Ty and then something else you could use that charge for. Uh, but to round out this Empire list, we do have two additional black squadron aces these are the two point aces uh or tie fighters at the moment uh and man they can be aces out there when they're just grabbing objectives uh so i believe uh we did see one of those tie fighters grab oh no there's no objectives up there there's only three objectives on this matt dion was well, because we're playing scramble the transmissions in this scenario you have three scenario tokens out there and you can use your action to scramble it and basically select it say this is mine and i'm going to be gaining points starting in round two for the ones that i have scrambled the opponent of course could later on in that same activation uh decide to scramble it back and go back and forth and whoever has it at the end of the end phase is the one that gets the points absolutely uh we do see a kickback come up um and take a lock action We'll see where that lock action goes down. Uh, I don't believe we have any kind of jam mechanics in this game besides uh, Anakin's chopper uh, and Nax Magpulse Warhead. Mm -hmm. So no false transponder codes or anything silly like that. Uh, we do see that lock from kickback go down to Morna Key, who is now double reinforced to the front. Mm -hmm. It's going to be difficult to put any kind of uh, meaningful damage in. You, you want to do damage? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> How about you do two less? <laughs> yep. Now, of course, reinforce does always allow one damage through. So that's important to note. But when you have a three dice attack and you come in and you go hit, 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 it's like, okay, one damage. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because I know some people who have never played against a, a decimator or don't really understand how reinforce yeah. works. Like, there are situations where imagine if if instead of the attack coming in, you just said, I'll just take one damage instead. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's almost like countdown. Yep. Except without all the negative effects. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it works on every attack. Yep. So, 
uh, yeah, it's very difficult to push through damage. Just a note, it, these um, uh, decimators do not have any agility. They have zero agility value. Yep. Uh, so if you are at range two or, or less, or if you have a missile out at range three, um, they are not rolling any agility dice. So if you roll two hits uh, and they have a reinforce in your area, you're not flanking them or anything, um, you... There is no, there's no reason to, um, let's, let's say you roll hit focus instead, mm -hmm. hit focus. There's no reason to spend your focus there if they're not rolling any agility because that additional hit that you would push through is going to get knocked off by the reinforce. So uh, if you're only ever going to push through one damage, you might as well just save your tokens as, ne as needed. So we're, gonna get, we're getting a boost lock action here from click. No, I think this is the... Or Contrail, excuse me. I think it's actually, it might be a Precise Astromech. Oh, he did! Precise Astromech. After you perform an action, you may gain a lock. You may do a lock action, a red lock action. So he actually claimed the objective with his pro perform oh. action step, and then locked Morna Key. I've honestly never seen that one on the table, Precise Astromech. It's, it's only right now, it's only in the standardized loadouts, or standard loadouts uh, for the... Um, for the Siege of Coruscant. Siege of Coruscant. Actually, uh, also, who has the precise astromech, I think, is Pops from the Battle of the Alvin, also has a precise astromech. All right, well, that uh, seems really, with uh, objectives, uh, any type of action of objectives, that seems really good. And here we see Anakin Skywalker getting aggressive into Vader's face. Maybe anticipating a, a fast move from Vader, of course, if he slow rolls. Ooh, actually claims the objective. Mm -hmm. Does a fine two controls claim the objective? Uh, and he's trying. He's trying to get up 3-0 in this in this opening. Very aggressively going for the uh, for the objective. And Darth Vader anticipating yeah. Jefferson saying he's he's going to step on the gas. Goes one forward and can decide to either claim the objective because this is the. Battle of Yavin, Darth Vader, right? Battle so this is not multiple so, action so, Vader. Yeah, if this was multiple action Vader, this may be a death sentence for Anakin Skywalker. Right. But what now he's, he's got to make a choice. Yeah. You really have to make a choice. Are you going to do that scenario action? Or are you going to lock? Mm -hmm. um, because Battle of Yavin or a customizable Vader could perform scenario action as your primary action. Because it has to be your in your perform action step. Mm -hmm. Then you could lock. Then you could focus barrel roll. Yep. And get a double modded range one attack on Anakin with no return attack and also still have claimed the objective. And Jefferson decided to be aggressive, taking the target lock. He's, he's, what is he doing? He took a target lock. Choose violence? He's choosing violence. <laughs> yeah. That is, that's, that's on the menu. All right. Oh, looks like Anakin. Liam gets an atta attack first. Anakin, double focus, hit, and a blank. I mean, could dump the rest of Anakin's force for a big hit. Now, one of the things with Jefferson choosing to take the target lock, he is choosing an attack over getting 3 owed in yeah. Yeah. in objectives instead of 2-1. We'll see if it works out. Got the two evades he needed. All right, uh, so no damage done there, and Anakin down to one force, and here comes a big attack from Darth Vader. Hit, 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 crit after spending two of those force. Yep, one will be a crit because of malice. No, for uh, marksmanship and marksmanship. Then, excuse me, and wrong. Then advanced the advanced targeting, targeting computer. computer. And ooh, blank out. We know that elusive reroll. He spent the, a force with um, fine tune control and one defending. So two. We'll spend the damage. other one and takes two damage. Yeah, not not optimal there for Anakin Skywalker to be taking damage right out of the gate like this. But there are no half points in this uh, scenario. Mm -mm. So you are going to need to get all six health off of Anakin if you want to get any points from him. So, uh, good luck with that, Dion. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, we'll see what happens. Two hits. Fire control systems from Neck. That's going to be two hits and a focus. Doesn't have any way to That's convert that. Two shields. It's going to be a critical effect. That's a Magpul, Magpul missile. It's oh, a critical that's a... effect. A jam. And then 
a deplete. So not only are your, is your attack neutered, your defense is now neutered as well. That's right, taking away one of those reinforces. Smart opening move there, using that mag pulse missile. Go. Good, good tech against reinforce. Oh, such, such good tech against the reinforce. Um, we do see uh, him uh, synchronize console away that lock from neck to oddball to give oddball a proton torpedo. All right, here we go. Stretching the rain three, range three, knack, a uh, kickback. Excuse me, going yeah. into Morna Key. We just the charge flipped for the diamond boron missiles. Three dice attack, single crit, uh, double focus. You might as well spend it. Uh, no, I mean if it's reinforced, you may as well just keep it because it's, yeah, it's, it's crit one, going through. Correct. On average, you're going to take those two dice. You'll get one more. Maybe uh, one. Way, more. Maybe one more, and then it goes down to yeah. one hit anyway. Might so as well you just leave it. it. Might yep. as well keep your lock, and you can synchronize console that back to neck if you wanted to. Or no, you don't. Have, he doesn't have synchronized console, so. <laughs> Did he just roll and evade for defense? Uh, yeah, I mean, you're, attack you're, die? You're an attack die. <laughs> Jefferson, you just rolled an attack die for defense. You just rolled an attack die. Oh, splash damage, oh, my bad. Oh, he tried to oh, do the splash damage from Diamond Boron <laughs> Missile. Uh, and I missed. So yeah. only one charge left on that Diamond Boron Missile. It comes with three. Got it. Uh, all right, here we could, looks like it. we have, um, ooh, has the best config you could. Oh, it's reinforced. Don't don't spend it. Uh, that was uh, Contrail. So, yeah, so reinforce creates that, that interesting um, decision where, it, like, two two hits is just is terrible, yeah. right? All right, looks like he is actually going to spin that lock from uh, Oddball for the uh, lock here. And, and gets he's an digging. additional hit. Hit, crit, so, crit. So it takes... Uh, Shields are down. This crit is going to be under, oh, and it's no. a direct it's hit. It's a direct hit. Oh, man. So down to 10 hole for this Morna Key. So it has taken six damage from this barrage of attacks from the Republic. Uh, and it looks like, I don't think Iden, are I don't out. think Aiden will have a shot. I think, I think that uh, the two Black Squadron Aces, I think they do have a shot on to at least kick back. Because mm -hmm. uh, that other TIE Fighter, you can barely see it, but it's a... Uh, just above the nose of the decimator. Yeah, it's it's hiding. You got to look between the clock box and the decimator. You'll see a little little tie fighter <laughs> pattern. I promise it's there. <laughs> it's cloaked, right? <laughs> <laughs> and as we're waiting for this attack, want to again remind you that we will be here for four rounds, top sixteen, top eight, four, and the final. Make sure to subscribe and follow to hear us on GSP to get all your X-Wing action. Right, converts for a crit. That was a fifth brother there. Mm-hmm. And has uh, to make a decision. Does he have any resources here for defense? Mm, looks like no. That's going to take a damage onto the Y-Wing, onto Oddball. Oh, it looks like oh, it is dedicated uh, from Oddball. Okay, nope. That's not going to happen. All right, looks like it will be a damage coming through. A direct, direct hit. hit. It's probably going to be on kickback then. Oh, no. These direct hits getting... <laughs> oh, I, you punch me, I punch you. I punch you back. <laughs> All right, and it's another two damage going into that kickback. Oh. Another no evade roll. Blank focus. It's going to be two damage. Down to two. Can that last tie fighter read? May, uh, maybe. Oh. Ooh. <sighs> I don't think so. Uh, I mean, at this point, if I if I if I knock it, I think you yeah. you you could yeah. you you can see that like well, if it was in, it is no longer. It is in. no longer in. Yeah. Uh, he might have a shot to oddball, though. By the way, easy mistake to make. Very easy. Yeah, it turns out those uh, <laughs> torrents are very easy to get knocked Yeah, they're, they're such an awkward shape. Yeah. I'll walk around like that tomorrow, and l let me know if I get knocked over. <laughs> just, like, walk around with my arm <laughs> up to my side, point it down. <laughs> All right, here comes... Uh... Oh, it looks like it may be that green uh, BSA, Black Squadron Ace, did have a shot. Maybe onto oddball. Oh, actually getting a, a judge out here. Yep. 
<laughs> I think after seeing the, uh, yeah. the, the the last disruption, you know what? The catastrophe. The catastrophe. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just double check. It's an awkward, it's an awkward angle, for sure. Um, Anytime a big ship like a decimator or gauntlet is on the table, any kind of arc check is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Especially if, uh, I mean, he's using the epic peg stand. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, looks like we did have a focus here from. And defense, nothing. Okay, and he only rolled one because of the strain that he used uh, dedicated on earlier. So oddball down two shields. All right, and that looks to have been a a missile shot from all of the uh, and, and the proton pro proton torpedo shot from all of these republics uh, republic fighters. All right, so as we head into planning, we have three TIE Fighters at the top. Currently have taken zero damage. Morna into the hole, took a direct hit. No other face-up crits. Uh, the Republic looking pretty clean outside of Kickback, who's down to two health. Um, I mean, who do, who do you think, if we're looking at overall damage received, is the Republic slightly ahead? In the damage race against the Empire, because no, you were able to get the they are, the shields. As well. They are definitely behind on the damage race, but they're very much ahead on the objective race here. Right. I, I mean, uh, Liam paid for those three points. That's yours. Uh, Liam paid for those three points that he has up on the board right now with those three objectives, and Scramble is notoriously one of the most uh, snowbally. Uh, objective scenarios yeah. uh, because every round so j this round just pretend that Jefferson had a TIE fighter that he just just destroyed they a just good destroyed TIE fighter they got a three right. point TIE fighter so uh, and he'll do that every round until Jefferson starts putting some a significant resor resources into these objectives and I think for this turn I think that I only see a possibility for uh, maybe if the TIE Fighter does a three bank, it may reach that top right one. But other than that, other than that I think Darth Vader is the only one that's going to have the opportunity to even claim one of these. Mm -hmm. And Liam has pushed ahead of the objectives yep. to make sure that like, if you are wanting to claim the objective, you are going to get hit for it, just like I was. That's right. <laughs> that's right. And, and, you know, having that early objective race gives you some padding in the sense of, um, he's got three three-point ships, right? Yeah. You've kind of built in insurance for yeah. them. It's like I, I've earned yeah. their their value back. And the pressure going on here for Jefferson is now he's got to make a decision. Um, Double down for the, damage? Right. Do you still continue to go in hard for damage? You take out kickback. And essentially what that does is that nullifies last turn's um, objectives from Liam, but th that's that that alone is not enough to to get even. you ahead. Now you're just that, even. Exactly. And now next turn you have to do the same thing because he's gonna get another three points. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so uh, scramble can get out of hand very quickly. Uh, Nikki Naps, thank you for uh, typing in the chat here. Are the vods from the past two days going to make it to YouTube for non-subscribers? Dion, what's that answer? Yeah, yeah, they will get there. They don't get there right away because we do want to give value to those of you who are our Twitch subscribers. Um, I would say it takes about a week or two to get out, and they're released one game at a time as well on our YouTube channel. You can see that we have a full archive of, of premier, of premier uh, level games on our YouTube channel um, over the, the last many years. So uh, welcome to the community, Nikki Naps, and hope you enjoy the, the very large arch archive that we have uh, oh, collected for you. It, it is actually a disgusting amount of games. It is. <laughs> like, I, I could probably have that streaming the entire time that I'm... <laughs> that I am playing uh, or I'm working and I'll probably never get through it <laughs> just because there's some like old 1.0 stuff on there all right it's a uh, it's it's great archivist knowledge yeah. that's I think I think if I, if I had like a cool name in in the X-Wing community yeah. it would be like the, the archivist. archivist yeah mm. I mean because I that's that's what I look like as my job it's I, like I'm, I'm preserving X-Wing history I'm in 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say, say no mas. <laughs> uh, I'm there. <laughs> yep. I'm there for it. That is a, that is a pretty cool nickname. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, I wanted a cool nickname. All righty. I'm just a stats guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just stats and stuff. <laughs> X binge indeed. <laughs> All righty, so we have established who is the first player. And we're going to get rolling here, starting with the TIE Fighters. We're going to... Uh, starting with a Proton Bomb. Oh. Whoa, go. Don't put the... What is it? Don't, don't put the cart before the horse? That This is true. <laughs> Nay. Nay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So, so what he's anticipating, I guess, is uh, the possibility that Contrail is swooping behind the Decimator. Yeah. That would likely be in range of uh, of that if uh, if the V-Wing is in that area. We're going to start with the TIE Fighters now moving. Black Squadron going to the right and now facing the bottom of the board. Oh, goes for a barrel, looks like. Uh, looks like it does fit. Uh, making sure that that orange one is not getting shot and maybe sets up some... Uh, follow, uh, follow up to be able to grab that objective right there. That's right. A little, little swoop de doop on the barrel roll. To answer, this is Art's question. Is the world, uh, are, is world at Adepticon or Gen Con? It is at Adepticon. The X-Wing World Championships and all the Star Wars game world championships will be at so excited. Adepticon. It's, it's awesome. So Yeah, so excited to see um, so many cool games coming out uh, that are going to be available for for demo around that time. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the new Star Wars Shatterpoint from uh, Atomic Mass Games. Uh, one of their, uh, that they've been ha having in the incubator for a little bit. Uh, we're also gonna see, uh, I believe we're gonna see Star Wars, uh, what, oh, what what was it? I. Uh, so let me let me address this really quickly. So no, there will likely be X-wing at Gen Con. It'll just not be the World Champion. It's never been the World Championships. It's been the North American Championships before. Uh, it's been a regional championship before. Uh, we have to just wait for the AMG OP plan because Gen Con is in uh, in August, right? I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe so. You're asking the wrong but wrong guy. Yeah. So uh, March March is now. Uh, assuming that they continue to do it, March is going to be now the end of each season. Yeah, the March Madness. That's yeah. right. <laughs> uh, and that game that I was forget, uh, did not remember was uh, Star Wars, uh, the deck building game that Fantasy Flight Games uh, is coming out with in around that time, around that March time frame. Uh, super excited for that. Um, looks like a little, a little fun, uh, uh, quick little deck building game to play with a one on one or two on two. Star Wars games. Star Wars games. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so it looks like we are trying to decide. Oh, Morda on did a too hard in that fit. Like a glove, baby. Oh, my goodness. Like a custom tailored glove. Which is that reinforced to the rear for Morna. Oh, actually. What was her action? Did she, did she not spend a charge for the Morna flip? Here is the maneuver for yeah, we're, Knack. I mean, it's it's not going anywhere. It's just going to end up bumping in uh, into Morna Key. We'll have a range zero shot. Uh, doesn't take the focus. Doesn't take the focus. Doesn't want to be stressed here. And looks like Oddball is also going to be making that bump as well. Man, Morna just got in there. Holy moly. <clears throat> And not expect Morna to turn in so aggressively like this. Well, looks like we have a too hard, it looks like. Uh, definitely going to be a bump, I think. See, I can't see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and while, while we're getting that out of the way, uh, to answer uh, uh, Dara Paul's uh, question, the, the FFG deck builder is it's not a collectible card game. No, it, it's a the deck building yeah. game. So it's, it's similar to, I think other people said, oh, I think Genesis, I think. There's the Genesis system. There is. Um, I, I liken it to Dominion because that's what I know. Right. What's the one my brother has? Uh, it's but, like a Marvel one. They have like. 
Uh, le legendary. Legendary. That's yeah, a little bit like for. legendary. We, where you have a uh, choice of cards to you start out with a basic hand, of, like resources. Now, like the game, and you're building the deck while you are During playing. Like it's part of the game. Yeah. It's a it's an interesting concept. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and see where this ended up landing. Did he hit the rock? I know he was he was very tight. Uh, I mean, we'll see if we get a die roll, but I, I don't think so. I think I think they're trying to determine if it's if, lined up, if, if he's bumped. Well, I mean, he just, I mean, I, I think he did. He j I just saw yeah. Morna move. So looks like probably no damage. We didn't see a roll here. Does end up taking a, sh uh, carrying the stress over from the previous turn. Yeah, I think that was a one hard. Yep. We haven't seen any scenario actions. All of these are uh, still claimed Off by Liam. Yeah, offensive modifiers all around here from the Empire. Okay, we have... So we just marked the TIE Fighter out of the way. Yeah. So that Kickback can make their move. I think if they're going to be able to land this maneuver. Uh, wow. And that morning I was able to block three ships there. Mm-hmm. Hug me. <laughs> <laughs> Love me. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I think only... Uh, one of those block ships will be able to use the reinforce from Morna. Mm -hmm. uh, the other ones look to be flanking, uh, so no reinforce. That's right. And remember that concept of flanking is if any part of the attacker's base is intersected by the middle hash line, you are considered flanking the person you are attacking. Exactly. So if you're being flanked, reinforce does not work. All right, after a series of bump maneuvers, cleaning up tokens here, looks like Kickback was able to land the maneuver and takes an action. Uh, ends up with a stress, so maybe have would have been the evade barrel evade. roll. Could actually take a lock as well. Uh, but um, chose to go with the evade just to see if maybe we can squeeze out one more turn here. Vader going for what looks to be a talent roll. Uh, I'm guessing that we're getting afterburners over here to scoop behind uh, Anakin. Oh, yeah. Very interesting. Um, says, put him back. I want to see where he is. <laughs> All right. We do get the afterburners. Yep. I'm, I'm not. Um, I'm not surprised here. You want to be chasing. Uh, still have the target lock on as well, so you can afford now. to. Oh damn! Jimmy, jam, jam. Jam and also spare parts canister. Oh, let's see if he. Let's see if he remembers to trigger it. Cause that's an action, isn't it? It is an action, but Anakin has a great way to. Uh, get rid of stress to take that action. And this looks to be a two sloop to the left here. Um, and I think it's going to fit. It's going to be close. That's going to be fit. tight. And it's going to be real, real sad for Vader. Nasty. Ooh. Oh. It does. It does fit. Oh, oh my goodness. This. Oh. So we get the sloop right behind Vader after the aggressive boost yeah. by Jefferson. It looks like the past is coming I've, to haunt I've, Vader. I've seen this. I foresaw this happening. <laughs> uh, Anakin says, uh, I knew exactly where you'd be. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and uses the ability to go ahead and clear the stress and now gets to decide what to do as an action. It's a lock. <laughs> <laughs> That maneuvering, holy yeah, Moses. I, I would have done wow. the, I would have done that two sloop as well, but it looks like a genius move. Right <laughs> <laughs> after the uh, after Vader does his, because if that if that road roll is different, yep, that is very sad for Anakin. That's right. Yeah, because it, that's right. It, it did come down to the road roll, right? Because if he had not boosted, yeah. then Vader has him at range one. Oh. I mean that's that's rough. That's rough. Jefferson, you can't you can't anticipate that. Uh, the aggression does end up punishing here just a little bit. Oh. All right, two hits oh, under. Vader oh. says you outmaneuver me. I'll outroll you. 
Oh man, it does not. It does not. Sometimes it does not matter how well you position. Sometimes the dice just say no. That's right, and that's a very unfortunate. Uh, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. All right, that being our first attack to answer our co-host Ryan Staniszewski's question as did Empire flip any scramble objectives? No. No, it's going to be another another 3-0. Three three -oh. Oh. The, the question does I, I'm sure somebody could do the math faster than I could, but at what point have if you continue to let 3-0 pile up, at what point can Jefferson not catch up with destruction. I mean, he can always catch up. Um, just grab the objectives. You've got to grab the objectives. Mm -hmm. Like I said earlier, this is a snow volley of snowballs um, objective. And ends up with three hits there. Ooh. And that's going to end up getting dealt two more in a key. So two more, two damage. more damage. That reinforce coming into effect there. Oh, we forgot the proton bomb. Did it hit? Ah, that looks like a hit. Uh, His or, own TIE fighter? Yeah, that, that Aiden. Oh, they're saying. That yeah, the order, the order of the cards. Yeah. Oh, and it ended up being a direct <laughs> hit. Oh, Dion. Uh, I mean, sometimes when yeah. you betray the, the damage deck gods, <laughs> yeah. and they say, well. <laughs> The order of operations is important there. Yeah, if they want full destruction, I guess you could technically wait to eight rounds, you know, mm -hmm. if you got full destruction. All right. Republic here. Knack, range zero, one damage. Remember, those decimators have zero agility. Range zero from Contrail. One crit. Crit focus. Ooh. And another that looks like another direct. direct hit. Oh my gosh. So how many how many hold does a, a decimator start with? Twelve. So it looks like we have seven out there at the moment. So we're down to five. Wow. All that right. is how many direct hits have we drawn? That's three. I think I think Warren has taken two. Uh, All right, okay. nothing from Oddball's range zero. Yeah, that checks out. Eventually, you will not roll. On range <laughs> Eventually, zeros. you shall not do it. He's got one more uh, range zero attack as well. Uh, no, I think that was Nat. Is that all three of them? Yeah, and Oddball. Uh, all right, looks like uh, Iden here with a heavy laser cannon uh, rolls out of hand two crits and has to convert them back down to hits uh, for three hits. Coming into Oddball. And Oddball gets the squiggle. Oddball down into the hole, but no crits. Also has plated hole, so mm -hmm. would have been able to turn one of those down if it had not been a laser can a heavy laser cannon already. Turn down for what? Turn down for uh plated hole. There it is. All right, looks like the, the Empire Ooh. is up now with the TIE Fighters. Hit crit. That's going to be a single. Who spins the evade? Uh, I think that was actually Morna back into uh, kickback, able to dodge the attack. Shrug it off. Hit crit. Another hit Ooh, crit. Here's a plated hole. This is into oddball. And one more evade. Republic refusing to take damage here, really uh. slowing the bleeding. Eventually, that odd ball is going to go down. <laughs> this is true. One, you, only, you do only have one agility. Has three hole left and Ooh. able to convert for hit, crit, crit. The only one crit goes down, doesn't roll. There it All is. three of them go through, and oddball is off the board. He is. Uh, so, yeah, eventually, eventually those Y wings will just roll a blank, and it'll, that'll be it. A fuel leak to end it. Uh, fuel leak indeed. My fuel leak everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> Crashed into the side of that Morna key. Do you do you do you prefer Morna or do you prefer if Rack and Morna were the same price? 
I like the aggression of Rack personally. Oh, yeah. That's it, it's more my play style. Uh, but Morna, if if played perfectly with the double reinforces, the double reinforces it and a can swap be, it. yeah, it's it it can be absolutely devastating to an opponent. So I just haven't worked out an opening that makes sense it for me uh, on Morna. But I think Morna can overall be better. I think Morna and Rack do the same thing. They yep. they they soak damage um, and uh, they they both dish out a little bit of damage. I think Morna helps the uh, preserve her resources by having those extra reinforces, mm -hmm. whereas Rack preserves his resources by not having ships on the other side of the board after destroying them through <laughs> yeah. through Darth Vader crew and um, also uh, the uh, hit to crit conversion or so the focus to crit conversion with the Rack ability. And the fort, like it's so much, and the lock most likely. So, yeah, but I mean, uh, good, and exactly. Um, one of our uh, uh, fishes born in the uh, in the chat here, uh, Andrew. His uh, says yeah. that one point in Empire buys you a lot. Yeah. So going down to Morna, just it just makes sense. If you want to fly a decimator, that's yeah. that's the way to go. Yeah. I also think Rack has not seen a lot of play recently, like in like you know high competitive areas. Yep. Because of uh, kind of what I mentioned earlier about the Darth Vader effect. Uh, that we see so there's you know four different versions of Darth Vader that you can take yep you're really gonna spend it you're, you're really gonna spend your Darth Vader charge on uh, <laughs> using oh yeah so scenario points uh, you're, you're gonna spend your Darth Vader charge on using it on a crew mm-hmm or you're gonna use it using a uh, very point efficient Darth Vader Yavin it's true. It's true. <laughs> I, I mean, a lot of times, if the efficiency play gets you, I mean, the the, the thing you lose with Battle of Yavin Vader is the the action shenanigans. But really, you bring Vader because of the advanced targeting computer and consistent offense. That's, that's why people brought him even with the action stuff because his actions made it so that he could do that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, Darth Vader customizable is worth an extra spot, uh, squad point right. for Darth Vader Yavin. Darth Vader Yavin punches like a Mack truck sometimes, but that's all he really does. He just punches real hard. He doesn't get to go out there do pattern analyzer actions. He doesn't get... Uh, multiple actions a turn. He doesn't get all those shenanigans, uh, but he does get to uh, look at one thing and say, "Take damage, please." Mm -hmm. So it looks like we have a uh, a long time returning player in the chat here. T. Trawa said, "Last time I played was when the lat was released." Well, well, welcome back home first. And our suggestion here at GSP for anybody who's jumping back in, uh, don't try to learn all the rules at once. Go slow. Go one game at a time. What rules matter in this matchup that you're watching or that you're playing? So uh, obstacles will will hurt, uh, but essentially you're looking for um, the road roll is what people call it. Uh, the determination of who will be the first player. The first player roll is, I believe, is the correct terminology out of the room. Yeah. The I rule think, book. I think it's I think the road is random order after, after dial. dial right. We sorry. Set. Yeah. So, which I think technically is a community term. Yeah. So uh, I think the official term is just like the first player role. Right. But the uh, uh, the real fun Bobby, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, remember when road was like almost like a derogatory, like everyone hated it. And now we've come to like, wait, this is actually like really good. Yeah. <laughs> I really it, like it. It makes it really fun. It, it makes it like, like that, like that we were talking about earlier with Darth Vader and Anakin. Mm -hmm. Like if... Darth Vader is um, the always the first player. Anakin is always going to have the advantage. Yep. Whereas, like with random order after dials, neither of the, that's interesting. Neither of them have the advantage because mm -hmm. now they have to both guess. They have to say, if I am first player this next turn, what do I set my dial to? And then, is that an acceptable uh, move if I'm a second player? They have to think about both outcomes, which I think is interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, yeah, Andrew, you nailed it. it yeah, that's, that's, that is a great the, yes. Solved the problem completely and pretty good. Like, I think I can't think of anything that, like, it really – Everyone was saying, "Oh, I'm gonna not. I'm, no one's gonna remember what if they're first or second. It's not even a problem anymore. It's not even a problem. Like, oh, look, the token's on my side of the table. Yeah. That means I'm first player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, we got a reroll here. How many rerolls have you done with Road? Like, None. what's the what's the what's the highest number of consecutive rerolls? Oh, like maybe like two. I've gotten the third. You got the third one. I've gotten the third. It's it, uh, it happens. It's it was rare. a legendary moment. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that stress is there. It's uh, it looks like it's Anakin's, but it's actually Vader's. Mm -hmm. Oh, Four Fizzle eight oh eight drops the thirty six month sub. Three years is no joke. I love puns. Wordplay. Oh, the Snoke. The S was on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he literally ruined your joke on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> He was, like, he was like, oh, it looks like he actually mistyped that. Mistyped that. that. <laughs> it's uh, nowhere near each other on the keyboard. But uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. I do miss Snoke. Not the actual like card effect of Snoke. You just want there to be a Snoke I card? I want there to be a Snoke. He'll come back. Yeah. He'll come back. Somehow, Snoke returned. That's right. <laughs> They're all clones. <laughs> Spoilers. Um, right, so we're getting some zoom here out of... The Black Squadron Ace dressed in green is facing a rock. Does he have range for... I mean, do you take the... Yes. The scramble? You kind of have to, right? Oh, you're going for the barrel roll. Barrel roll to get away from the rock. Shout out to It's Baffle. Chase, one of our Grand Admirals, dropping five subs in the chat to help out the community members. I want all of the banned cards uh, that have been banned for various reasons, whether it be dial peeking, yep. dial changing. Um, what would be a clever name for a box of all that? Like, I, I think Will and I have talked about this several times. I think we were saying it's like, um, uh, what was it? It was like, like it was like ro rogues and bands or something like that. <laughs> Um, but just, uh, just an errata pack, honestly, yeah. because there's a lot of cards that got eroded um, during the changeover from 2.0 to 2.5 that, um, like the controlled ailerons, uh, the adaptive ailerons also, the um, we never actually got Delta 7B cards because mm -hmm. they're actually two different pilot cards now. Oh, I like that. Frizzle. Special modifications. That'd be oh, like, that's like see, that's so good. Like see, so, that's what I was looking for the, for that marketing. What the that, heck? That, that sizzle. <laughs> that that's that, got that, sizzle. That, that fizzle. <laughs> All right. So Morna now taking a one bank to the left here. We'll end up having uh, arc on a few of. Oops. Knack. <laughs> Put him back. Put him back. <laughs> back. Natty whack. Big nose. <laughs> Big nose. Uh, yeah, those those Z ninety fives are. You <laughs> say <Ooh. laughs> that was a lot of shaky. <laughs> Honestly, that's why I don't have a gauntlet or. I think I don't even own them. They're just too big. I just I I I, I can't be asked to be, to be going out there and having such ridiculously large chips on the table. Like I only, I think I only carry around one Falcon at any one time, just because so so obtrusive. All right, and this is probably going to end up being another bump by Knack. Oh, I don't think so. You don't think so? You think it lands? Yeah. Ooh, spicy. That's going to end up being a range, not zero, one. but one modifiable attack. Remember, those range zero attacks cannot be modified by the attacker. Able to get that range one. Uh, Knack does have a Magpuls missile warhead left, but I don't believe we currently have a lock out there. I always need you. <laughs> of 
Chris Allen here helped us out today to help uh, do the uh, set up the event um, for today as far as Roll Better goes to make sure that we got a good merge from mm -hmm. the two events, day one and day two of Swiss. Yep. Heat, heat A, Heat B. Yep. We, um, work, we work together to, to get it done, but shout out to Brian oh, uh, yeah. Gramble. He did the actual work. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it was it, at first when we merged them, it was it was merged incorrectly. Yeah. Uh, we discovered that all together. I was like, well, oh, this is how we would solve it. And Brian overnight said, I got you, babe. Yeah. And I uh, took like, care of it. Super late last night. We were like, oh, yeah, I think we did this wrong. <laughs> yeah. And Brian was like, ah, give it to me. <laughs> yeah. Like, honestly, we didn't think that he would he would have time because he's, he's like, oh, yeah, I don't really have access to a computer. And we're like, oh, no worries about it. We'll just hand write a bracket. We'll be, it'll be fine. Yeah. Not a big deal. And uh, it must have been just nagging him. He's like, I, I got it. I got it. I feel you. I feel you, Brian. When I, when I can't figure something out or I haven't done something uh, correctly or something's wrong that I can fix. Right. I have the power. I, it bothers me to no end. Uh, I have to go do that thing. Especially if it affects other people than just myself. Mm-hmm. So Lambolo asking in the chat, how many people in the chat are part of the GSP Sector Series? Uh, in total, I know we had a little over uh, 200 players. Total. Um, I think we had... Right? No, I think we had like 50 day one, 50 day two. No, sector series. Don't want sector oh, sector series. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have no idea. That's all. That's all you. Yeah. <laughs> if you look at all four sectors, add them up. That's the, that's the answer. There, there were two of about, them about, that was at 120. Yeah. It's over 200 people. Uh, uh, no, Sector Series is not replacing Galaxies. Are you crazy? We're still doing Galaxies. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> oh, all right. So we have a uh, affirmation of the scramble. I think you should be able to hit uh, exclamation, exclamation point, point donate. donate. Exclamation point donate and hit the second link. Not the Patreon link, but the second one. And does does Anakin have arc there? No. He got pulled so fast. Probably not, right? No. I wonder if we're going to maybe see uh, the spare parts canister to drop the lock. One hit. Looking for the double reroll. Has a target lock. Here we go. We're going into Morna. Ooh, Ooh there's boy. a crit in there. Two hits and a crit. Hit crit. That's going to be a hull breach. A little bit. A little. <laughs> You want to see Holbridge earlier. Mm -hmm. um, with only three health remaining, uh, still going to be. Yep. Um, could see some nasty crits come up still. And double hit and a blink. Uh, it looks to be a disabled power regulator. Oh, damage disabled. sensor array. Oh, Lambolo just donoed another $100 towards Sector Series. Thank you, my friend. Bow, 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 bow. Appreciate you. That's why it's got that Sector Series red and silver in the corner there. It does look really good. Yeah, it does look good. Yeah. 
I did that. Feels good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like you know, we, like I'm not gonna brag. I, I will say, I think, I think the I'm gonna I'm gonna tap myself on the shoulder. I think the art style that I put together for Sector Series is really good. Yeah. S shout out to Belinda Mood, also donating twenty five. Yeah, donate train. Hop aboard, choo-choo. Every dollar counts. And again, the, the series is completely free, including shipping for those of you who are who will earn prizes in the top cut. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, it, again, appreciated. Three hits. Uh, I think this is going into Contrail here, um, who uh, is not going to be able to get any... Oh, could get some help from... Uh, his friend, uh, Kickback, with that evade. Kickback, help me out, fam. May just take some shields here. I think Orange TIE Fighter has a follow-up here. Mm -hmm. Full trail mix here. Hit, crit, focus, blank on the attack. Gonna go ahead and spend the force for Morna, making it uh, with... Fifth brother hit crit crit. Only a single evade was rolled. Uh, you got to spin that evade now. Yep. Checks range two. Looks good. Spin evade from from kickback. Kickback using mm -hmm. uh, the, born for this. Born for this ability. You love that ability. It's so <laughs> it's so good. I was born for this. And takes a console, console fire. fire. Ooh, has already engaged this round. That's right. So, so uh, um, Contrail not going to have to worry about that. But next round uh, is going to need to really focus on getting that repaired. Uh, looks to be a range two from Orange Tie Fighter mm -hmm. into uh, Kickback. And, and those kickback two are going to get hit. Down. That's right, so kickback was at two hole, goes down. So that was your round one, 3 0. Oh, yes, Co yeah. covering, covering <laughs> that, yeah, so uh, absolutely. So s the score has tightened up seven to six right now. Of course, we haven't hit the end of the end phase. Liam will jump ahead there, seven to nine, um, when we get there. I have never seen a Vader so bullied. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, I feel bad. Yes. <laughs> like, Anakin says, get off of my <laughs> mat. <laughs> Go away. There can only be one. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> have, you, have you seen the Lego uh, Christmas special? Holiday I think special? so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's been a while. I think I saw it. Yeah, like, where they do like the time traveling? Yeah. Yeah. Th this is kind of what this rem <laughs> reminds me of a little bit. Hey, get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, even though it technically Anakin is down on that fight, yep. um, ended up taking two shields while Anakin, uh, Vader took nothing, uh, it still is not does not feel great for Anakin to be facing away from the board edge like that, or uh, towards the board edge. Somebody asking, Vader has Anakin locked, right? Yes, that is yes. that, that yeah. red square lock on the bottom um, is what that is. So people are asking, do we think that the Talon roll fits for Darth Vader? What do you what do you, what do you think? I think if it does, it's going to be have to be forward, and it's going to be real close. It may not. I'd have to be on the table, and then I still wouldn't be able to tell you. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right. Do you know Do you know what a spare parts canister does if it lands on you? If it lands on you, um. I is this uh, is a stress roll? Okay, let's see. I believe, All or is it a right. strain roll? Uh, when uh, you overlap this, is assigned a strain. Uh, roll one attack die on a hit or crit. The ship is assigned a stress. So it's not a guaranteed stress anymore because it used to be a guaranteed stress. Now it's a guaranteed strain and a fifty percent chance of a stress. That's what it is. So that would be pretty funny uh, 
Well, not funny, but um, <laughs> mm -hmm. very sad. If Anakin is the first player here, does a one bank, drops a spare parts on Vader. Vader tries to do the three talon and two whites off the board. But we do not see that outcome because Jefferson kept the first player order token this turn. So if you were Liam, you were able to take you, you haven't destroyed any of the ships right now. Aiden's one away. Morna's two away. Has not spent her charge yet. Ha, spent, that's right. Has yeah. not spent her charge yet. So if you take Morna down, that's seven. That gets you to 16. Then you would need two additional turns after that to be able to... Or, or two TIE Fighters. Or, yeah, or two TIE Fighters. So I, I think even though Jefferson is in... Is risking losing Morna here he's still in the game like it's still close oh, yeah. and that's that is what Morna key like her purpose is to soak up shots ideally in a perfect world she's just alive at the end of the game and your opponent has used a lot of time so Liam going into Morna is opting in to Jefferson's strategy now he had tools for it right he had jam mm -hmm. he had a couple of good crits so you can opt in if you think you can overcome the defensive measure that is Morna Key. And with 10 minutes, a couple more rounds, maybe three left in the tank uh, at our current pace, uh, could end up doing it. But he's got to make sure he has a path to 20, and that's going to be either holding those objectives or getting rid of a TIE fighter, but you're going to have to get past Ooh. Iden Versio's um, uh, ability. See, see that proton bomb come down from Morna, but we also see... Another bomb come down, an ion bomb from Contrail. Oh, Contrail's like, I'm going out. I'm not gonna, not gonna leave this in the chamber. All right, both these players moving at a very quick pace here. Um, green Tie Fighter in the in the top right claims that objective. You can see it flipped over to the red color now. A reminder that if you want to check out the lists and bracket, you can type either, either exclamation point lists or exclamation point bracket um, in there. Follow the instructions for the bracket. We got a, a two-step two process to get to it. But it's pretty cool now that our tournament software that we're using, Roll Better, has a built-in bracket. Yeah. I really, really like that. Yeah. because One place to reference that. It's nice. Yeah. Before we had to do, we, we generally did a challenge bracket, mm -hmm. uh, which just meant there was two places to go for it. Yep. You know what I'm gonna try to get Brian to do? A a after, uh, after, like roll better is is, is rolling here, and we're like, hey, how about we get that bracket view exportable so that we can bring it into, yeah, like OBS. Yeah. I think that'd be cool. Just a little browser view. It should be in the ladder. It should be like another tab in the ladder, not in the rounds. Mm hmm. All right, we see a one bank here from Morna. Print screen works, yeah, but if it was, if it was a browser source, we'd be yeah. able to just pull it up. Yeah, what we would like to see is a a link um, to where it automatically updates itself. Mm hmm So that would be very cool. Efficiency. Actually, I just had an idea, James. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do something here in the background. All right. Oh, it looks like we have. Oh, we were testing out like. Correct. No. No, it's not gain stress. It's, it's, what? Yeah. It's not. Yeah. Correct. Oh. Okay, well, looks like we had uh, Morna here, did not set a dial, has to do a two white maneuver straight, and then gain a stress. Wow. Uh, make sure you set your dials, folks. Yeah, it it, it happens. I, I know I've made that mistake before. <laughs> For sure. 
Oh yeah, I think we all have like like oh yeah, this is what I want to do with him, and then just like put the dial near it or don't even look yeah. at the dial. Shout out Land Ladrian donating to the Sector Series cause. Thank you so much. That goes right back into uh, the prize support and uh, to help us out run those events. Yeah, we may see a knack here. As much as I make fun of him, <laughs> actually able to uh, take down Morna here, maybe. Uh, he's going to have to not use that last uh, Magpulse missile. It'll probably just use a, a normal uh, primary attack to see if we can put through a couple of damage here. Only needs to do two damage. All right, Vader or Anakin does a one hard. Trying to give the give Vader the jukes here. Uh, doesn't actually is going to uh, have to uh, partially perform that maneuver, but that's not that bad. Uh, you're actually going to be taking a shot into Vader this turn, and Vader not shooting you. I love these uh, two different engagements over here. All the other ships on the top and right side of the board and uh, Vader and Anakin just duking it out over here. Anakin is just giving Vader the... The bitness. The, the rope de dope <laughs> <laughs> All right, it looks like Iden will have to spend the charge and, unless she wants to take a crit there and uh, die. Seems like a bad idea. Not a fan. I think I figured, uh, at least I found a temporary solution for this. Okay. Okay, well, maybe it does work. Ish. Uh, looks like we have a console fire on to, uh, let's see. I think that is gonna be uh, the orange TIE fighter here. Okay. And I believe the action for uh, Contrail was to claim the objective again. So I think yep, it it's is still, still it's still three zero here. Okay. Um, We'll get this roll from the console fire roll. Ooh. Control still alive. Hanging <laughs> on. I refuse to lose. All right. We actually did see that precise astromech come down. Um, we'll go ahead and spin that lock for re-rolls here. It gets another two focuses. Focus, focus to focus, focus. Uh, what are the odds of that? Not good. Not, Can't be good. Uh, not great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's the big one here. Knack. Range one. Needs two paint. And got it. You spin the focus. Can secure the destruction of Morna. All right. Looks like uh, a couple of damage goes down on Morna. And she is taken off the board. Added to that overlay, 16 to 7. And with that, we have Liam four points away from locking away this game. We'll see if he can keep it going. He's really, he's taking a commanding lead with the, uh, with the choice to focus on the scenarios. Because imagine if he hadn't been. Oh, yeah. Right? Like, if this would be like a completely focusing. different game. Just grabbing focuses and locks. Yep. All right. Looks like Aiden will have a shot here on to Cod Trail. See if we could put away this uh, uh, this V-Wing here to recoup some of the points from uh, losing more to this turn. 
Now, Liam has got to keep it pushing in order to have the win. But Darth Vader, you know, interesting enough, I wonder if, if Jefferson had... I wonder how different this game would look if Jefferson and... Um, Excuse me. If Vader and Anakin had been more in this scrum, because Vader has it has has had a few turns where he hasn't just hasn't been able to shoot right, yeah, and you bring Vader to smack people around. Yeah, uh, you don't get to slapping. No, no, no slappies. All right, here we go. Double crits, Ooh, single con evade on contrail. that. It's going to be a shield on Contrail. Oh, I think Contrail's down. Oh no, the shield on Neck. Oh, it was in the neck. Yeah, single crit, double evade. So, and, uh, and I see, you know, the, the chat talking about the, the Republican control. Absolutely. The Republic has been in control the entire game. Uh, and there is the handshake right there. But one of the things I want to talk about Morna Key, how good she is, right? We have one minute left on the timer. If there was one turn where Vader was in the scrum and they focused on Vader or the shots were split up amongst the other ships, Morna would still be alive. Yeah. And if, the score, the score, those I, seven I points mean, wouldn't be there. Yes, but also Anakin is just as Vader as Vader is. Yeah. Still doing some great damage out there. That's right. Before we go too far, congratulations. Liam Lee will be moving on to the top eight of the Las Vegas. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, Row 6, 626, Chief, and J-List, our Grand Admiral Patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron, out.